If you're either a you're a VTuber or you you don't show your face, either way, you're you're at the point where you're confident enough in yourself that you think you're attractive, but you're unconfident. You're so <laughs> this is hard to explain, dude. This guy, I gotta really think about this for my Pokemon gameplay. You're delusional enough to think there's a point in not showing your face because you think like, yeah, I'm, I, I could be attractive, I could be cool. But you don't show your fucking face, like, you, you're still delusional enough to think you're, like, a winner or something. You're a fucking fat-ass loser just like me. Show your ugly-ass face. You're not gonna get anywhere no. with your dumbass anime fucking profile talking. You are uh, an ugly-ass fucking loser, and I am too, and if you show your face, you'll be better off. Jesus fuck. Are they just coping to, by avoiding showing their face? That too, it is a, like, huge fucking cope. Yeah, it's like, uh, avoiding reality, like, yeah. oh, I could probably get a girl. Yeah. Or some shit, like, but not trying to get girls at all. Yeah, they're, they're self-conscious, but they're not, like, they don't have the fucking just brain or the guts to show their dumbass face. Like, who yeah, gives yeah. a- it, It's just ma you're right, it's just cope, like, it's, it's literal cope. I couldn't have said it better myself. Like... <laughs> I, I don't even understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, t talk to me. Try to try to process it. I give up. You look like a bigger dumbass than if you were to show your fat ass, ugly ass, dumbass, retarded face. Like, look at me. Look at me. I'm doing it. Can you share why guys put on anime profile pictures? I think like watching anime in general it's just like a hive mind thing just sitting on your ass watching anime and talking about anime all day it's like at that point it's like a fucking hive mind mentality one of the most perfect things to compare to is like being a like back when being a brony like bronies existed people were bronies and they would claim they would sit there and claim well dude the show is actually really good like i don't I, I was, I've been like a fucking loser troll on the internet my entire life, so I would like go into these brony servers or whatever, like, or on TF2, like, brony servers, but like, why the fuck are you guys bronies, like, what is that even, I would just shit on them, and every time they would tell me, dude, it's awesome, like, the show is so good, it's like, it, it's all about friendship, and I'm like, I, it's like, it's my little fucking pony, like, it's obvious that it's not the show, it's just you're such a fucking loser that you need the the feeling of us of being a part of something. Like you you were such an outcast your entire fucking life in every regard that you need fulfillment in some form and like unity. It's like being in a like being at talking like XQC's chat. You're a fucking loser. You're just typing to be a part of something bigger. Cause you're so, like you were never significant to anyone in any capacity, and that's that's everyone in the, on the fucking internet. Being a brony is the most perfect like example I can give. Anime is not watching a little every little fucking anime about random bullshit isn't interesting. It's just a little quirk you have. Be able to relate to other people who watch anime.